I think there's a lot more going on in Egypt. I just don't think they had ancient tech. And then you look at someone like that, like, what the fuck they know how to make it look like that? The layout of the three big ones on uh, Giza, to be honest, the layout of all of them are impressive. The Great Pyramid, the way it's just so goofy. It seems so symbolic, like having this unfinished chamber down in the underworld. I think it was more of a place of ceremony than it was a place of like interment. I do think it probably had something to do with resurrection and stuff. It would make sense that three stars in Orion's belt, Osiris was the god of the underworld and resurrection and rebirth. It would make sense. There's a archaeoastronomer, Vincenzio. He wrote a couple of papers on the Orion Giza correlation, and he's a professor astronomer, not a woo peddler by any stretch. He found it to be a fourth dynasty correlation, not a 10,000 year old one, but pretty robust uh, work that he did there. But 4,000 years ago, 20,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, the correlation has been accepted by real astronomers, but they had to kind of get past the fact that Graham Hancock talked about it first. And just, <laughs> yeah. Ignore that and just do the real work and oh look, 